I know you've addressed this on your uh, show as well. Um, you don't think they should trade Kareem Hunt. Take us through kind of your thought process, why you think Kareem Hunt needs to remain a Brown. Yeah, so I think right now people see Browns have five running backs. Obviously not going to keep five running backs, right? Even if worst case scenario happens at the quarterback position, five running backs is not really sustainable. Um, and I think people have jumped to this juxtaposition, I'm sorry, of putting Kareem Hunt with – Dearness Johnson as the two players that must one of them must go. I don't understand that juxtaposition because when I look at the running back room, I see Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, those are going to be your two starters. Dearness Johnson, you're going to keep him because he's really good and you just paid him what nine hundred thousand dollars guaranteed. And then you look at the other two: there's Jerome Ford and there's Demetri Felton. Now the thing with Demetri Felton is Jakeem Grant has really taken a lot of the roles that you, that you're going to ask Demetri to do. What are those roles? Occasional pass catcher. Jakeem Grant's going to do that. He's a former, he's a wide receiver. He's going to do that at a higher level than he, uh, than Demetric is. Kick and punt return. That's going to be Jakeem Grant exclusively on both of those. Um, so when you look at that, that kind of takes away all the extra that helped Demetric make the roster last year. And then you go to, okay, now what does Demetric provide that you can't get? Maybe as a receiver out the backfield, but you would rather have Kareem Hunt out there. You could even make the argument that Dearness Johnson might be better um, in that role. And then you look at his pure running ability, and that's where Jerome Ford might end up being somebody who can overtake him. So Demetric, while being a good player, I mean, like I think his comp is ultimately Deion Lewis. Like he's going to be a productive player for somebody somewhere. They're just four guys who you can make the argument are going to be more productive for this team right now on the roster. So he might be the odd man out and the guy that you feel like you can get away putting on the practice squad. Um, so that's that's why I don't think the trade for Kareem. Also, here's another reason why I wouldn't trade Kareem Hunt. The trade value for Kareem Hunt is not what Browns fans think it's going to be just because Kareem has not had a thousand yard season since 2017. And we know that Kareem has been great in Cleveland, but if you're a GM, you're going to use that against Cleveland to lower that trade value because he has not hit those numerical values that you would value in somebody you would give up a third round pick for, especially at the running back position, which is notoriously undervalued in the NFL. So with Kareem Hunt, you're looking at a fifth, maybe a sixth round pick for him. He's an older running back getting to 27, not that many years left on his deal. Um, so you would might maybe get a fifth and sixth round pick. And at that point, you have to ask yourself, is that better than just having Kareem Hunt? Well, the other thing, and the answer to me is no. No, and I'm with you. I think you keep Kareem Hunt. And I'll add one more reason why. If you're going to be missing um, Deshaun Watson for a significant chunk of time, you're going to need to run the football to help Jacoby Brissett out. And uh, – you're going to need as many running backs as you can that can run the football, and Kareem Hunt can do that. Definitely. Kareem Hunt is a former starting running back. Like, he has carried the load before. Also, running backs get injured, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we, we, we tend to, in this part, look at things without the possibility of injury happening. But every year, injuries happen, right? And it's not somebody being out for the year. It's, hey, Nick Chubb misses two games, and that aligns with, you know, maybe a backup running back got hurt a couple weeks ago. And all of a sudden, you know, these things kind of trickle down during the season where, certain injuries just don't line up with each other. We saw it happen with running back where we went into games without Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt last year. Um, so it's nice to have your backup version of Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, which would probably be Jerome Ford and Dearness Johnson. Um, and if you're going to be a team that relies on running the ball heavily, especially if Watson's not in there for a significant portion of time, then you're going to want to make sure that you go to every game with something close to a Chubb and Hunt level threat at the running position.